Thank you guys for coming on. I'm Vic with Soci Snap. I created that. There's Neil. All right, there you go. My, my friend in Europe. <laughs> yeah, we're having the surfer party here, so. All right. I know you guys want to learn. I just rebranded the today's talk. We're actually calling the future of social media. That's the name of today's talk. To set the context for today, I've actually prepared a five minute PowerPoint to set the tone of what we're going to be talking about, because I think that the old ways of, of marketing in social media simply don't work anymore. Would you agree? Yeah. Absolutely. I think things are changing. So for sure especially in these times. Welcome everyone, Vic here with EarthGrid Online Marketing. We're gonna be talking about the future of social media, effective strategies to leverage the new rules of the game. Topics for today. I'm gonna answer this first part. What do the top 4%, the 20% of the 20% of online business owners do that the others don't do? And we're also gonna talk about the three essential ingredients of social media follow-up. The third ingredient is actually why Neil is here tonight. Neil is an eight-figure earner. He is in Europe. He's done multiple product launches and he launched something yesterday we're also gonna talk about how to leverage the new social media rules of the game to your advantage. We're gonna talk about what these rules are when we come back on cameras after I cover the essential ingredients. Then we're gonna talk about tools to automate your audience engagement of fan pages and Instagram posts. Now I confess, I am not a social media person. I am a Facebook ads expert. <laughs> I get hired by agencies I'm that guy that the agency pays a lot of money to, to increase the ROI on their ad spend. They spend three, four, five thousand dollars and they want the most clicks, the most sales from a finite amount of money. Also, I run political campaigns. I am not a social media expert. Neil is a social media expert. We're gonna talk about the distinctions between that, why you need to be both. Finally, we're gonna talk about how to turn your Warren subscribers into hot repeat buyers. The old way of marketing, this is what we've been taught. It simply doesn't work anymore. Build a list of email subscribers by advertising or affiliate offers. The problem is they have a 30 day shelf life. That's about it. Blast everyone on your list daily. We all know that what ends up happening is you're gonna get lots of people not getting your emails eventually at all. We've tested this, we know this to be true. I call it the hype language from the 50s. There's a great video called The Century of the Self. You can look it up on YouTube. Essentially, Sigmund Freud's daughter is responsible for modern day advertising. Marketers are still using the hype language from the 50s. Many of the marketers don't even know because they were born after the 50s, myself included direct response psychology that comes from the sales letter, okay? Attraction marketing. There's way too many people doing attraction marketing. I coined a term called repulsive marketing, which is actually the opposite of attraction marketing. And authority, which is, you know, writing books, being on stages. Everybody these days is a best-selling author. That stuff's old, it's tired, it doesn't really, it, it takes a tremendous amount of effort to do. So let's talk about the new rules. Really simple, make great content, share it freely with no links, switch from Freud psychology to Carl Jung psychology, which is dealing with alchemy and archetypes, and the fortune is in the follow-up. Retargeting ads, social media groups, and messenger bots. Those are, the third ingredient is messenger bots. And up until now, it's been very, very challenging to do this with scale. That's why I'm also invited Neil here. So let's talk about the things, the top 20% of the top 20%. They have focus like a cat. Have you ever seen a cat hunting a bird? They will study its prey for a long time and then it will strike right at the right moment. They love what they do and they love the products that they promote. 
They have to breathe them in. They have to eat them. They love what they do and they love how they do it. That's one of the reasons why I invited Neil here. He truly loves the industry. He doesn't just want to make a buck. He loves his customers and he supports them for years to come. Consistency. They have a vehicle for consistency. A great golfer is made because he practices the putting. The putting is really where the greats are made. The journey, they love the journey, okay? You're not just here for the quick buck. You love the journey for years. Makes fantastic content. It's like catching a great wave. You have that moment of exhilaration. It gets so addictive. When you start making fantastic content, that's what's gonna cause you to catch the wave. Your content needs to be unique. You can't just copy someone else's work and send it out and expect to make money. Finally, equality. We are all in this together. The benefits of this approach is you're building a buyer's list. You're building people who are loyal subscribers and they've purchased a product over delivering on value and the uniqueness of adding your own bonuses. Automation is key, but very important to only use that at the very early stages of the value journey. Building trust and converting sales, this is the new rules of the game. The follow-up is the fortune. Where you make your fortune is in the follow-up. Posting on social media, this is my formula. If you wanna take notes, this is my formula that works. And I'm gonna show you some real numbers to back it up. I've taught for years now, and I've proven it, that when you post on social media with no links, not only do you get likes, you also get people sharing your content. If you're a smart marketer, you'll learn how to do retargeting. You're gonna retarget the people with an offer. Put the links in your retargeting. Don't put links in your initial posts. Waiting for indicators, like a comment or a like or something. And when you see these weights, you actually get notifications from social media. Notice I'm not using any distinct brands because social media is all of the social media. When you see these indicators, that's when I boost. That's when I put some money behind my post and I turn maybe 100 people into two or 3,000 people. And the follow-up is the challenging. Messenger is key. This is a slide that a lot of us who are here today are my inner circle, they are my affiliates, they are promoting my product, SoCSnap. And I'm gonna show you some, some shocking numbers, okay? The next screen, we focus on daily sales, but take a look. Uh, Neil, earlier I told you that we've conquered social media. When I focus on creating great content or when my affiliates are sharing their content and just their experience with our tool, all they need to do is get cookied. Our ads do the selling. We can get a sale for an affiliate at $15 a sale. When we do our own sales, each sale costs us $34. So the question of the day and what I wanna have our discussion about today is how can I improve my conversions? How can we improve our conversions with all the great goodness that Neil has for us to share today? So that's my quick introduction. <laughs> Neil, you wanna come on cameras. Uh, John just joined us, Maria's here, some of our top uh, Maria was in our mastermind here, and she's actually got an, a master's in business administration, and she's just diving from being an MBA, working with corporate clients into the affiliate space. Uh, Neil, what do you think of my quick setting of the tone of, of why I'm so excited about your product? Oh, I like it. I think the points that you made in that uh, were quite right as well, like consistency and equality are really important qualities. So, you know, we have our own company values as well. And uh, looking at what you were sharing, I felt that that's exactly what we believe in as well, because that's the those are the markers of good growth in a company. So yeah, I'm I'm totally on board there. And social media is the way to go. Yeah, yeah. And so the challenge with us, we find, is when we run an ad, we run a retargeting ad, 
and then we run another ad and another ad, what ends up happening is, yes, we do get some engagement, and yes, we do get sales. However, I know that we could be making more, and I know that it's possible to do that, but we just, we just don't have the resources to hire an army of virtual assistants to go there with every single like, every single comment, and just cause people to engage in messenger conversations. So what can we do? That's, that's my question for you, because you're a master of social media, and you know that the key to making sales is really the follow-up. It's not just about email. You have to do email. You have to do ads. You can't just do ads. You also need to engage in these messenger conversations. So do you have any advice for people um, about these new rules of the game? Now, let's quickly talk about social media because, uh, because you made a very good point here that social media is the future. And, and here's why. Look at what is happening in the world at the moment. And again, I don't want to always talk about the COVID situation because it's negative and, you know, it's, it's a bit difficult for a lot of places at the moment. But the fact is that at this point in time, people are not buying anymore just after landing on a sales page. They need a little bit more convincing. They need a little bit more face-to-face or one-to-one, however you want to call it. And being on social media gives you that ability to engage with people at a more personal or intimate level. And that's why, to me, social media, uh, social media wins above everything else. Now, that's not to say that email marketing isn't important. It is, but as a way of follow-up. So if people are browsing Facebook, if they're on Instagram or Pinterest or anywhere else, and they see something from you, and then they get an email from you, that's likely to have more of an impact for them to buy than if they are seeing, a, if they get an email from you just in a day. So again, email works, and I know that because I have an autoresponder. The thing is, emails combined with social media is really powerful. So again, social media is what will define how your customers perceive uh, you know, your products and your services moving forward, which is why we created a product that automates engagement for you on social media, but does so both ethically and legally using APIs. So I want to talk about why we created this uh, to begin with. We created the software. It's called Sociobot. I'll give you a demo in a few minutes because we realized that we all live very active, busy lives. I mean, I had my first born about 21 months ago now, and I can tell you it's a lot of work. It's, you know, there's a lot of things to do. And for my company, I have to be the CEO. I have to be the admin. I have to be the guy who generates revenue. I have to be the guy who leads the support team. I have to be the guy who does sales videos, you know, doing all kinds of videos and these uh, sessions as well. So there's a lot of hats, metaphorically speaking, that I have to wear. And it's a little bit difficult if you then also have to engage with your customers for a simple, you know, simple thing where you want to drive your, where you want to drop your sales link to them. So let's say, okay, let, let me paint a very simple scenario. If you have uh, customers on Facebook and if you were to drop, if you were to ask them, Hey, would you be interested in this training? And they would say, yes, I'm interested. Imagine if you get hundred responses because the thing went viral, you get hundred responses, you get 200, 500. That's happened to us before. And what I've had to do is either message each and everyone one by one. And I think Facebook has a limit. If you, do that up to like 35 at a time, Facebook will block you for the day. They'll say you can't message anymore for the day. Or you have to respond to them all one by one. And again, that's very time consuming as well. You do 10 of those in a row and Facebook will say, stop, you can't post any replies for another 10 minutes. So things like these really slow you down when you're trying to build a business online and do other things as well. So we tried to do was to leverage both Facebook and Instagram uh, APIs basically to automate a lot of this process, to automate the process where you can reach out to people automatically after they indicate the interest in your sales message. So uh, for example, one of the, and I'll share my screen in just a second. I wanna just load this page up uh, before I do though. So we posted, I ran this experiment. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna share my screen now. Because I ran this experiment just yesterday live and I posted a link. I asked people to basically comment if they were interested to hear more about Sociobot. And we had about, as you can see, we had 60 replies, but I think in the, in the post that I'm interested in, it was on Facebook. I'll show you the exact stats for that campaign. 
So we had, I'll wait for it to load. We had, I think, initially 34 engagement, but it basically went up after that, after more people saw it. Because again, remember with Facebook, you know, once they see it, oh yeah, so two contests, I've run 35 contacts. This is a test account and 35 participants. Now this happened organically, right? All I had to do was ask people to engage, they did. And I was able to automatically from my fan page, this only works with fan page, I was able to send them a message. I wanna show you a live demo of that right now. So let me go back into the contest and I'll show you how this works. So you get a good visualization of what this would mean for you when you're running this yourself. So say you have a fan page where you basically run, uh, you write down a post, you write a post and you say, hey, I'm thinking about giving 25% off in our latest uh, course that we've created or, or hey, I, I'm launching this t-shirt and I'm offering it for just 10.99 right now instead of 18.99 that will offer it at later. If you're interested, type hashtag interested. If you want it, tap type hashtag want it and you will be able to uh, get this early bird price that we are giving to just a few people, right? So these are the, this is the post. I'm going to comment here as myself and I'm going to say hashtag interested. So you'll see what happens in just a second. I've done that. I'm going to close this down and I'll just get rid of these as well. Okay. So you can see now I got a message from this fan page. Kyvia shop is the fan page with not just a message, not just a link, but an actual offer. So an offer which has details. So if I scroll further up, you can see there's the e-cover for Sociebot. There's a headline, could be anything, a message, and then learn more again. All this is customizable. If I click on it, I will land on the sales page where I can then you know, buy that product in this case. So the reason I'm showing you this is because typically if I was getting this done, I would have to literally respond to each and every one, one by one. I would have to literally say, reply, okay, here's a link that you need to go check out. Or if I wanted to message them, I'd have to find them and I have to message them or ask them to message me first because this is a requirement from Facebook as well. If you want to message people, you need their permission. That's a fair thing. But Facebook API also has this little trick up its sleeve where you could literally message people once they engage with you on your post as well. Not a lot of people know this, not a lot of people use this, but this allows us to automate a lot of things in our business. On our, on our social media posts. So again, I'm still happy to engage with this person. So for example, when they uh, message us, I could say, for example, I'm interested to see the price, right? So I'll message that. And if I haven't set it up, but if there's a bot behind the scenes that is placed, you can see then the bot will automatically respond. We can even collect the email address or as a fan page now, I can actually respond to this person. I can say, hey, okay, we are selling it at this price right now. So it allows you to engage back with those users as well. That's important. So it's not just a one way conversation, it's a back and forth with them and back and forth is good. Now I'll head back to Sociebot for a second and let me refresh this. So you'll see I have 35 participants still because I'm still the same person, but the engagements have gone up. And uh, like I told you, I can collect emails as well. We do that in our autoresponder mail via but check this out, check out the school feature. So I'll go to recover and manage leads for this particular campaign. It brings up all the 34 participants that are, uh, that are basically engaged, right? So I'm going to, in this case, let's say go to 50 and I'm going to just select all of them. And then I'm going to add them to a new list. So I'm going to create a new message list and I'll call this one Kyvia shop. engagement create and now that list is in place what i can then do is i can go to send messages so same thing that you would do with many chat for example i could create a new message and send it to this particular list now do note and this is a very important caveat if someone hasn't actually this is where you need to see the send options if someone hasn't actually written to you in your messenger you can't send them a direct message. That's important. You cannot send them a direct message. That's all permission based and that you can only do for 24 hours. So when someone engages with you, you have 24 hours to basically 
also make engagement with them, send them a message via bots. But then you can send them a private reply though. So if you don't want to send a direct message, you can send a private reply, which basically will appear here. So or in the post rather, people will be able to see a response from you here. So both, this, both the steps work. But what this does is add bulk. It allows you to automate a lot of engagement on social media. And I've just shown, shown you the Facebook example. It works on Instagram as well. Uh, let me show you this one. So I think there's the post I was playing with as well. I don't use Instagram too much, I, I have to admit. But see, people are commenting like numbers, one and such, and I give them specific details. So yeah, so based on what people say, I can have automation set up as well, where I can respond to them based on the choice they've made. If they say one, I can give them something, two, something else, three and four, and so on and so forth. So that's basically so so she bought. To me, this has been a lifesaver. And again, this is a demo account, so you don't see my stats. But to me, this has been a lifesaver because it's automated a lot of things where otherwise I would have to do manually. Now, do note that we are exploring to do this with Facebook groups as well, but there's no direct API for that from Facebook. And if there's no direct API, we kind of don't want to do it because then we'd be skirting a lot of rules and we don't want to do that. We don't want to break rules of Facebook because you know Facebook can be quite strict about that. And we want to protect our accounts and that of our customers as well. So we only do things that the API allows us to do in this case, which is what I've shown you. And trust me, it's more than enough when you are trying to run a busy life and, and a business as well at the same time. And, and I think, Victor, just to add to this as well, that, you know, I'm not trying to replace paid ads here. Like, I think you made this point as well when we were chatting. Yeah. If you combine this with paid ads, it's basically dynamite. Because once I have this post, for example, and this is a test post, but if it was a real post, I could boost this post. Right. And look, I already, I already have 65 comments. If I boost this now, Facebook's going to be like, you know what? This post is great. Let's show it to more people. And I'm going to get really cheap engagement. And remember, every cheap engagement that I get, I send an instant messenger message. And yes. messenger messages have 95% open rate, 20 25% click through rate. So imagine how much sales you can drive by doing that. So I think it's just, it's really in the messaging now. You just have to ask people to comment. Whereas what we used to do in, in digital marketing is put a link in there, okay? Um, what I like about this approach is you don't, you know, comment hashtag interested and we will send you more details via messenger. That's, that's, aside from that being really great copy, that's, that's really good copy writing actually. Yeah. <laughs> so, and, and I like that. Want to know how we were able to ramp up our software sales? Comment interested and we'll send you more details via messenger. That is so simple and yet so powerful. And you have proof right there and you publish this and you got this organically, you know? And I think what people need to think about is the new rules of the game. It's totally consistent with what I said before is you don't want to put links in there. You want people, but you do need to ask people, Hey, if you like, you could say maybe something like, let's say you're doing a webinar, like I'm doing a webinar tomorrow. I could say comment hashtag uh, webinar. Uh, and then I will send you a link to the Zoom directly in Messenger. Okay. That way, if people really want to come to the webinar, we'll send them a link in the Messenger. Now, as I understand this, once you set this up, that post is going to be automated, right? Do you also have the ability to set it up account-wide? So if anyone comments on, um, let's say someone engages directly with my account, because um, there's similar tools that I've seen is like, for example, if they comment, on a post, then it starts a conversation with them in Messenger, correct? Yes. Now, yes, let's say they send a message to my page. Like, um, there's a way that I can put it directly on my website. Like, we had support. Um, for a while, we were running our support, and we had a VA that was messaging our customers directly from the fan page 
uh, bot. So you also have a chat bot that will message people directly. Uh, have you experimented with the difference between asking people to comment on a post versus having them messaging your page? Um, I think the thing of messaging the pages, of course, that once they do that, that will open you up to engage with them via messenger more freely after that. That's the key driver. That's why you want to do it. So right. here's the thing. If I was selling a high ticket item, a thousand, two thousand dollars, I would want people to message me because I would want to engage with them quickly to understand basically what they're after. Right. So that I could help them. Like if I was selling a coaching offer, that'd be the perfect way to go. If it was just to get signups to a webinar, that I want this to be as automated as possible. I don't want to engage with people for no reason. So I'll just let them sort of just, you know, um, comment and then I'll send them a message, a link to click based on that. So I think that's the key thing for me is that it depends on how high value offer you have that you're selling to people or that you're giving away to people. So your engagement depends on that. And yes, you can build bots over here as you can see. So in this case, if people, um, you know, leave a particular text, for example, you can message them accordingly based on what they say. And I do think that I, I have to check with the developer as well, and we can ask Robert together, but he was talking about building, sorry, an entire engagement based on, on uh, basically what they, what they type as well. So again, yeah, I played practices. around with your discover feature and I love the discover feature. Yeah. Uh, because you can go into previous posts before you purchase SociBot and, and recover and manage leads. Like let's say you had a, a post that did really, really well uh, a few weeks ago. You can find that post inside of here and then bring all those people in as leads, right? Yep. So this post doesn't have any engagement, but yes, if you had a post, let's say this one, uh, just to prove the point as well, you would click on recover and manage leads. And as I showed you earlier, you have all these leads that you can now put into either like you can message them. You can create a separate segment of messenger leads there. And you can then also uh, mess message them using the send message feature. So yeah, you can absolutely do that. And that way you get to segment your social media leads as well. So the, you're going to go into the mechanics and I, I want people here to understand this. I've always said that where money is made is not with the tool. Where money is made is with the psychology of the person and the systems and the procedures and the processes that you go through. And then the tool, you know, it's, 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 it's like the gold rush. You have to have the map of where the gold mine is. Uh, people are in this industry are so busy selling picks and shovels and picks and shovels and picks and shovels. It's not about selling the picks and shovels. That's not what we're offering here. What we're offering here is the ability to connect with Neil and myself. We're experts in this industry. I want to start diving into this tool, <laughs> right? And start following up with all of those thousands of people that fell through the cracks because all they saw was my ad and my ad and my follow-up ad and my follow-up ad. And they you know, people have told me, Vic, I see your ads in my newsfeed every single day. And I want to buy the product just so I stop seeing your ads because we exclude people once they buy the product. <laughs> uh, but your tool is so amazing. So tell us about your workshop. That's going to be coming up. Um, uh, when is it? It's going to be July uh, 5th or something like that? When yeah, so the workshop is a paid upgrade. Uh, it's at $47 where you basically get three days of live training on social media success. So it's called Social Success Blueprint. And it basically follows on from uh, what we've just talked about and Social Bot. And yeah, builds up on top of that as well. So for example, yeah. on day one, I want to teach people about building their hero's journey. Basically, how to present themselves as the attractive character, the star of the show, because that's when people on social media really connect with you. So that's the first thing that we'd be focusing on. The second thing would be to talk about, on the day two, it would be about Instagram and Facebook domination, how to basically dominate both Facebook and Instagram using social media and also psychological tricks that we've talked about, a little bit of what we talked about today. Then day three, we're gonna focus on new social media platforms, which is Pinterest and TikTok. So I like TikTok. I mean, it, it has like people out there love it or hate it. And I want to be, I want to talk about that as well and share basically how people can 
leverage those, those platforms as well and use those to drive traffic back to their Facebook pages, to YouTube and Instagram as well. So that's the goal of those sessions to guide people on the hottest social media networks and how to basically leverage them to make money. Awesome. Awesome. Well, almost everyone here who's with us tonight is already a customer of SociSnap, our social media editor, and it will work with any platform, including your platform, because it rewrites the characters. We do emojis, we do bolds and italics and all this kind of stuff. And the fortune is in the follow-up, but the first point of contact is getting people to engage with your posts and just getting their attention in the first place. So I would say together with Soci Snap and Soci Bot, I'm actually gonna switch our gallery view. It's mm -hmm. like Soci Snap and Soci Bot together is a winning combination. This is, it's like your bot is like step three. What I've been mentioning is step one, you have to get their attention. Step two is you have to cause them to take some sort of action, okay? And step three is you need to remind them because they're busy, right? They might be at the grocery store. They might be seeing your ad in the middle of the night and you don't know how they're gonna be able to respond to you. And if you just keep bombarding them with ads over and over and over and over again, what we've observed, yes, sometimes like in our case, they will buy just to have the ad stop. <laughs> but that's, 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 that's just, you know, that's how we roll. <laughs> you know? But here's the thing. What we would love to see is a combination of the paid side of Facebook with the social side of Facebook. And by the way, Soci Snap works amazingly on TikTok. In fact, we're adding a TikTok plugin right oh. now uh, to make sure it's actually our team is working on it right now to make sure that you build the optimal length of a post that has all the beautiful characters and stories and engagement uh, right there in TikTok. Wow. So, so picture this in your mind, okay? You out there, you're a newbie marketer. You wanna build your list, you wanna build sales, you wanna uh, grow your business, you wanna sell a big ticket item, maybe a network marketing opportunity. A lot of people in our, in our culture are in some form of network marketing. They're selling uh, nutritional uh, supplements or they're selling uh, information products or e-learning. Those are all big ticket. You wanna cause people to engage with you. And having a tool like SociSnap and SociBot together is everything that you need in order to create this, this, this methodology. And with Neil's expertise in social media, his upcoming training, I, I'm just like, every customer of SociSnap needs to go to Neil's training. So how can you go to Neil's training? Well, there's a link below that begins the beginning of the funnel. I'm gonna ask you to go all the way to the end of the funnel because that's where the training is. There are a series of upgrades. You're gonna want all of them. I'm gonna offer a personal bonus. Everyone already has Soci Snap, so that's not really a bonus, but if you don't have Soci Snap, we're gonna give you a training that I did back in November, uh, a bonus training, and we're also gonna give you additional um, I don't know if you guys can work with YouTube yet, but maybe that's on the development horizon. I just released a course called Tube Relevance. That's my bonus for this particular launch, how I generated more than 2 million users and views on YouTube, and you can do it too. So some of you have that bonus, some of you don't. But if you don't have that bonus, that's my bonus for you guys to go all in, all the way to the end of this. And... I believe that, think of it this way. I drive YouTube people to my Facebook page. I'm actually getting more sales of SociSnap from YouTube users going to my Facebook fan page, joining my group, and then getting engaged. And Messenger is the one thing that we have not added to our equation because we didn't wanna have our accounts shut down. We didn't wanna really get into the problems associated with ManyChat. Sure. Uh, and the expense of ManyChat because ManyChat charges you per subscriber. Yeah. I don't like things that charge you per subscriber. And I yeah. know you have an unlimited version 
I'm going to tell everybody to go, go all in, you know, get this thing, go unlimited, get the done for you templates, which is like copywritten, beautiful posts. That's the third upgrade. And please come to the webinar. Please come to the webinar. I'm going to be there. I really want to learn this missing piece uh, because to be perfectly honest with you, every campaign that I've run as an agency, I've got a team on the ground that's doing social media. I'm not the one doing that. I'm the one that's saying, okay, we're going to take this social media and we're going to tenfold it, 50 fold it, 100 fold it of what's working. But here's the thing. If you don't have something that's working with the follow-up, then there's really no point in boosting your, <laughs> your posts because you don't have the system to follow up with your leads. And that's where Neil's system comes in. It's the missing link. It's, 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 it's literally like, you know, like the dinosaurs. They're trying to find the missing link. And when Neil, I said, what's the, what's, you know, the universe has a sense of humor. So see Snap and so yes. see Bot. I mean, you weren't aware until so see Snap uh, until, uh, when did you first hear about so see Snap? I think you messaged me because I've seen your other social media tools about, uh, around as well. Yeah. And um, I remember one that you had with Cindy and Gary, if I remember right. Yeah, yeah, Sosi Jam. Sosi Jam, yeah. But I didn't know about Sosi Snap, actually. I heard from you today, or was it yesterday? Well, yeah. the big idea behind Sosi Snap was to actually remove the funnel, okay? What we did was we found that adding all these steps to get to the final uh, end product, mm -hmm. in Sosi Jam, you had to come in for $20, then upgrade for $40, then upgrade to um, something per month. And so few people actually did that, that our average cost per customer was $25. Well, now that I, because I knew that my cost to acquire a customer was $35, for every new customer that we would invest in, I would lose money by selling it that way. And we found that the $69 price point work much better and more people purchased when we gave them the all-in package in day one. And I was able to prove that numerically. <laughs> and um, it also works better for Facebook because we can run ads all day long and we get sales every single day from Sosi Snap. So it allowed us to have an evergreen product and we put R&D and the big difference between Sosi Jam and Sosi Snap was this artificial, I don't like to use artificial intelligence, it scans your posts looking for words that would cause problems in social media. They would cause problems. They would alert the bots out there. Because remember, the, there's many kinds of bots. And when you send an email on Google, Gmail, or whatever, and your recipients are in Google, Google's bots will read the letters of your word and they're looking for hashtags. It's called mm -hmm. DHT, Distributed Hashtag Tag Tracking. Same thing with social media. So by making sure that you get the engagement that you need with really simple posts like what Neil showed you, it's invaluable to understand how, what questions you ask. How do you cause people to comment? And you've run contests, okay? So there's really three components to Soci Bot. One is... Let's go in, even, even the entry level tool, which offers this, allowing you to go back into your previous posts, build your list from your previous people who commented, okay? If they didn't comment, there's no way to scrape it. However, you can scrape anyone who likes anything on Instagram. That's what I found is actually, that's part of the first upgrade. The first upgrade is called the ultimate. Okay, and I recommend everyone go get the ultimate because the ultimate gives you the ability to anyone who likes something on Instagram, for some reason, Facebook allowed that to be turned into a lead. And to me, that was the biggest feature of the first upgrade of Soci Bot. The third upgrade are done for you templates, which is Neil's personal list of tried and true contest promotions that you can just load right up and start running contest promotions. One of the first things we're gonna do is, is run a, uh, a giveaway contest for um, my insider club in SoCSnap, which is a $100 a month product. 
Wow. So I want to see how can we work together to not only uh, help your SOCI bot customers with better engagement using SOCI Snap, we also want to open up our doors to SOCI Snap customers to uh, invest in SOCI bot. And I and it, there's a lot of tools out there. They're they're here today and they're gone tomorrow. And I I know that there's now three competitors launching at the same time as yours on different networks. Mm -hmm. And I was approached by some of them to promote them. And I said, no, I'm only standing behind Neil because I know Neil, I trust Neil, and I know that he's gonna stand behind the product. And so um, back over to you, why would someone invest in SoCI bot right now and go all the way because that's, I'm, I'm, I'm all in or nothing, you know me. <laughs> yeah, you almost said SoCI snap there. Um, so the thing is that- I said SoCI bot. Yeah, I know you did in the end, yeah. Uh, I know it's too close. The thing is that for me, it's very important that we do things that protects our users long term because we know, like you said as well, Facebook and Instagram can be a little bit finicky with these things when it comes to automations and bots. Yeah. And I think that's where for starters, Soshi Snap comes in really handy because if you can avoid all the, avoid all the pitfalls of using the wrong words, number one, no one bother looking at you. You just basically float through and it'll be fine. But the thing is that if you are then able to you know, engage using the systems that API and Instagram give you. That's what we do. We're not creating anything new here in terms of doing things outside of Facebook and Instagram. We just leverage the API. Everything gets triggered based on the calls and functions that Facebook gives us. Now, there are Chrome extensions that may actually allow you to do this and a lot more. But I was talking to this, uh, this customer today and she was mentioning that she bought a Chrome extension. She paid like $2,000 for it. And this was three months ago and she said she loaded it up and the next day her account was blocked completely. It was gone. So Chrome extensions are a little bit scary because they work on top of Facebook. And the problem with that is Facebook can tell if you are overusing it or abusing it. And I'm not sure if she was doing that, but obviously as with any automation, you don't want to abuse it. You don't want to continue hassling people all the time, which is why it's all permission based as you see it. Right. So in that respect for me, compliance and security of our users is paramount. And that's what we do with SoshiBot. And you're right, the upgrade, which is called the uh, unlimited version, actually gives you unlimited lead collection capability. Now, do note that a while back, we were discussing internally about launching SoshiBot just to our list. And our offer was going to be $99 lifetime or one time for, uh, I think it was 15,000 leads. And then if you want 100,000 leads, it was going to be another $499 a year. So we we're going to do a lead base like that. But because we were doing this special JVZ launch, we decided to basically offer an amazing pricing that people would just kind of jump, you know, all over for. And that's what we did. So we created with this really simple, really easy pricing that will give people immense value in basically what they are purchasing. So I think in that respect, what's been really good for us is um, giving customers an amazing price with the unlimited license as well. Like I said, we generally wanted to offer 100,000 lead capability at 499 a year. I actually even had the sales page for that. But we decided to, in this case, offer unlimited leads for $97 extra. So that's part of the unlimited offer. Now, with that being said, uh, there's the other upgrade as well that you talked about, which was a done for you option. And the thing is that because the creator of this platform, Robert Emmy, lives and breeds these contests. He knows what's necessary. He knows what's wor what works. So we're basically doing all these for you and all you have to do is subscribe and you'll get new five contests added to your dashboard every single um, month. So you can request them as well. If you're in a niche that we haven't covered, you can tell us and say, hey, I'm a lawyer. I've got this idea for a contest. Can you create something for me? And our team can take care of that as well. So that's covered too. And then, yes, the final upgrade is the uh, training. It's the three-day live training that we're running starting the 5th of July, ending on 7th of July. And our goal there basically is to equip you, enable you to get better results with your social media marketing. So that's all the upgrades, everything basically that we're providing to you as part of the SociBot offer. Thanks, folks. I'm really happy that I could uh, come in and show you SociBot in action. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I'll come back in a little bit, um, Victor, and then we can catch up. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Hey, thank you 
for watching our webinar. So excited that you're going to be with us. Click the button below, pick up your copy of Soci Bot, and I will see you at our next live event. <laughs>